Hello viewers and welcome to today's uh, Open Heavens Reflection. My name is Tode Dada, uh, a pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Kingdom Builders family based in Luton. Today we are reflecting on the topic, Seek Wisdom. And our text is taken from Proverbs, the second chapter. I read the first seven verses. My son, if you receive my words and treasure my commands within you, so that you incline your head to wisdom, and apply your heart to understanding. Yes, if you cry out for discernment and lift up your voice for understanding, if you seek her as silver and search for her as for hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He stores up sound wisdom for the upright. He is a shield to those who walk uprightly. Her memory verse for today is taken from Proverbs the second chapter, the sixth verse. For the Lord gives wisdom, from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. A reflection for today. The preacher said in the book of Proverbs chapter four, verse seven, that wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore get wisdom and with all that getting, get understanding. Wisdom helps you to interpret knowledge and put it into profitable use. James said in his epistle to, uh, in chapter one, verse five, he says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. I think it takes wisdom for any man to know that he lacks wisdom. There's a way that wisdom and humility work together. The foolish are the most arrogant. They think they know so much, but they actually know so little. How can we have wisdom? From the book of James that we mentioned earlier, it is apparent that God is the source of wisdom. If you ask him, he will grant you wisdom. To hear that request, you also need to play your own part by seeking wisdom. To have wisdom, you need to apply yourself to knowledge. You need to seek the knowledge of secular and spiritual things. The when you have wisdom, you will interpret information correctly. Most importantly, the wisdom of God is what we need most. Let's hear how James described this wisdom in the epistle of James, chapter 3. You know, if you read from verse 13 to 17. The Bible says, Who is a wise man and endued with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. But if ye have bitter envy and strife in your heart, glory not and lie not against the truth. The wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. For where envy and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. A wise person will carefully weigh the consequences of his action and utterance. A fool will not do that. Rather, he will be reckless and later regret his action and words. Every leader needs wisdom, whether in the secular world or in doing the kingdom business. I pray that we will apply wisdom in everything we do from today and stop being foolish in Jesus' name. Action point for today. Ask for the wisdom that will enable you to be on top of situations and will keep you steps ahead of problems, challenges, and enemies. May the Lord bless you as you go about your daily activities today and may the wisdom of God be made manifest in your life. God bless you. Until I come your way again, have a wonderful day. Bye for now.